Hey guys! Today we want to get acquainted with Top 10 Most Popular Mexican Beverages, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. Number 10, Corona. Corona is the most popular Mexican beer and of the best known beers worldwide. This golden colored, refreshing beer is often categorized as a light American style lager. It has a crisp and a subtly sweet malty flavor. Although Corona is rarely lauded for its quality, it customarily appears on the lists of top-selling beer brands. This beer got a somewhat bad reputation during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, and the brand could not escape the inevitable association with the epidemic. Number 9, Kahlua. This award-winning Mexican coffee liqueur was first introduced in 1936. It was created in Veracruz and was named Kalua, which in ancient Veracruz Nahuatl language means the house of the Akalua people. Rum-based Kalua is a full-bodied liqueur with enticing flavor and aromas of roasted coffee beans and hints of vanilla and caramel. It is a mainstay in bars across the world, and though it works great on its own, preferably served on the rocks, it is mostly used in cocktails, out of which the most popular are White Russian, Espresso Martini, and a layered B-52 shot. Because of its sweetness, it is also a great complement to desserts. Number 8, Micheleta. Micheleta is a Mexican beer-based cocktail with a spicy kick. Since it is easily adaptable to different tastes and preferences, Micheleta can be prepared in a variety of ways with beer as a base and the addition of lime juice, salt, and assorted spices, hot sauces, and peppers. Due to its spiciness, it is often used as a hangover cure. The variety prepared with clam and tomato juice is known as clamato, while the version with Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, chili, and salt goes under the name cubana. Number 7, Rom Pope. Latin American version of eggnog goes under the name Rom Pope. The drink is based on a combination of rum or brandy, milk, sugar, and egg yolks, while the additions may include nuts and typically vanilla flavoring, nutmeg, or cinnamon. It is believed that the first version of Rompope was created in Puebla by the Santa Clara nuns, sometime in the 1600s. Following its origin, the drink has spread throughout Latin America, resulting in numerous regional versions. Rompope can be served lukewarm, heated, or on the rocks, and it is usually enjoyed all year round, traditionally on various special occasions. Number 6, Atoll. Atoll is a thick, corn-based drink native to Mexico and Central America, where it is consumed as a breakfast drink or sipped in the evening after dinner. It can be made from cornmeal, cornstarch, or masa arena, a type of flour used in traditional Mexican cooking. Atoll is traditionally sweetened with piloncillo, a thick, crystalline syrup made from cane juice, but brown sugar, white sugar, or honey and can also be used as well as fruit, atoll de sabor, chocolate, champarado, nuts, vanilla, cinnamon, and seeds to add extra flavor. Number 5, Aguas Frescas. Aguas Frescas is a light non-alcoholic beverage made with a combination of fruits, cucumbers, flowers, seeds, and cereals blended with sugar and water. The name translates to fresh water, and it is often sold at bodegas and eateries throughout Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean, but it can also be found in Mexican cafes and tequerias throughout USA. Aguas frescas come in a variety of flavors such as guava, mango, orange, cucumber, lemon, and tamarind, among others. The beverage is most commonly consumed in the summer months, served cold with pieces of fruit and ice. Number 4, Mezcal. This smoky Mexican spirit is produced from agaves that are grown throughout the country, but the main territory of mezcal production is in Oaxaca. Mezcal is traditionally prepared with agave hearts that are roasted in earthen pits and are then crushed to a pulp, which would later be distilled. According to age, they are categorized as joven, reposado, anejo, and extra anejo. Mezcals have similar taste profile as tequila, but are slightly smokier and earthier, with hints of floral or ash aromas. In the 1950s, the spirit was infamous for red or golden worms that were found inside the bottles, but were only a marketing strategy and do not have any effects on the drink. 
High-quality, artisanal mezcals have recently been promoted into a fine sipping drink, but they also incorporate well in a variety of complex cocktails. Number 3, Liquado. Liquado is a Mexican blended beverage consisting of milk, fresh fruit, and ice. The drink is popular throughout Latin America, where it is also known as Batido. The beverage gained fame in the USA during the immigration period in the 1990s. Liquado, which means blended or liquefied, may also contain nuts, honey, and spices such as vanilla, cloves, or cinnamon, while in some varieties fruit can be replaced with chocolate. Due to its nutritive value, Liquado is considered a quintessential breakfast food providing energy for the day, and it is usually served in a tall glass garnished with fruit. Number 2, Margarita. Probably the most famous tequila-based cocktail in the world, margarita, is made with a combination of Cointreau, lime juice, and tequila. The cocktail can be made in a few varieties, straight up, chilled with ice, then strained, frozen margarita, with blended ice, or on the rocks, over ice. Regardless of the style, it is usually served in a margarita glass characterized by its rim which is rubbed with lime or lemon, then spun in salt or sugar. Some say that the inventor of the cocktail is Carlos Danny Herrera, who supposedly created it in 1938 in Mexico for Marjorie King, a dancer, who was allergic to almost every spirit except tequila, although others claim that it was named after Margarita Cancino, also known as the famous actress Rita Hayworth. Finally the best popular Mexican drink. Number 1, Tequila. This strong spirit originated in a small city of tequila and was modeled on mezcal. The highly prized, original tequila varieties are made exclusively from fermented juices of Blue Weber agaves, while other categories known as mixto must be distilled from a base that includes at least 51% of Blue Agave juices. Officially, tequila must be made in a designated region of Mexico. If aged, tequila is usually kept in oak barrels, and the process has considerable influence on the final fragrance and flavor. As the maturation period lengthens, tequila takes on spicy notes but becomes more mellow and elegant. Tequila was greatly popularized with the invention of margarita in the 1940s. However, its popularity soared when it was promoted as a youth drink, which was served as a shot, typically accompanied by salt and lemon or lime wedges. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video.